Welcome back. In the earlier video, you created your free Azure account. This video will give you a quick introduction to the Microsoft Azure portal. Start your browser and visit portal.azure.com. Here we are. Azure will ask you for your Microsoft account. Choose your account if it is already listed or enter the email address. Enter your Azure account password and sign into the portal. Here we are. The Azure portal is a web-based interface that provides an easy method to work with the Azure Cloud. You can also work with Azure Cloud using command line tools, APIs and SDKs. However, the Azure portal is easy to use alternative to command line tools. With the Azure portal, you can build, manage and monitor everything from single web apps to complex cloud deployments. Great! So on the home page of your Azure portal, you will see a list of Azure services. You can click this more services button and see a list of all Azure services. You will also see some commonly used navigation places. For example, you can navigate to the list of subscriptions and see all your subscriptions. However, you will have only one free trial subscription in the beginning. Similarly, you have links to directly jump to your resource groups, all resources and dashboard. We will be using these navigation links as we progress with the course. On your top left side of the page, you can see a full menu. The menu is nothing but a list of links similar to the navigation links. You can go to the Azure portal home page, dashboards, all services and directly jump to your favorite Azure service. Let me close it for now. At the top of the page, you will see a search box. You can type in any Azure service name to search for it and directly jump to the required service. So you do not need to use navigation links or menu items always. If you know the service name, you can directly search it here. You will also see some small buttons on the top right side of the Azure portal. The first one is to open a cloud shell in your browser. Let me click it. Great. So you can use Linux bash shell or Windows PowerShell here in your browser to directly work with Azure Cloud. We will come here when we need to use the Cloud Shell. But for now, let me close it. The next one shows you a list of your Azure Active Directory tenant. When you create a new account, Microsoft Azure automatically creates one Active Directory tenant for you. This one is your default Active Directory and you are made administrator of this directory. The default Active Directory tenant is sufficient for now and you might not want to change anything here. The next link is to your recent notifications. You can see a notification here. I am based in India and my payment currency defaults to INR. So, Azure converted my 200 US dollar credits to equivalent INR credits. The notification shows that my credits are still remaining and I haven't used anything yet. The following link is for settings. You can change your Azure portal settings from here. For example, click on this appearance setting. My default home page appearance is selected here. I can change it to show a docked menu. Let me do that. Apply changes and your Azure menu starts showing permanently on your left side. Earlier, I was supposed to click the menu icon to bring it, but it is now permanent. You can minimize it if you want. The following link is the help and support menu. Finally, the last one is to send feedback to Microsoft. If you want, you can send them feedback. 
that's all in other lectures we will come back here and start using the azure cloud see you again keep learning and keep growing Thank you.